All right, so welcome to my five things I hate about my car video. I know every man and his dog's done one of these videos, but I thought my car's a bit different, so and my opinion's different, so I might as well make one of my own. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's start from number one. The number one thing. I've got five things in my head. I'm just thinking of what order they go in. Or, no, actually, these will be in no particular order. So, right, number one is this. I'll show you now. All right, so, sorry about the mess. Um, so, the first thing is this. I don't know if you can see that. So, it's obviously R, one, two, three, four, five. Why the fuck they couldn't just put the R? Why why they couldn't put reverse there? I do not know. Because then you have to press this stupid lever to to push it into reverse, and it's just it becomes a bit of a piss take. Sometimes if you're in a rush, you forget you're in reverse, or if you you forget you're in like number one. That's one thing. Right. So next thing. Number two is, so here you've got centre console, all your little buttons, everything you need for the car, okay? Um, let me just, so we've got the radio on, right? So if I want to turn this up, see what I mean? It, it doesn't show you what volume you're on, like what percentage of volume you're on. It just doesn't show you anything. That's number two. Don't know why. It's 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 small, and I did have to think about these these things um, like really hard. But that's just another thing. It'd be nice to see, especially because when you're driving, you use the volume there. It'd just be nice to see what percentage of volume you're on. But anyway, okay. So number three. Number three. I'll put a clip on the screen in a sec. But it's basically. Say, for example, I'm driving down the road, I'm in gear three, doing 30 miles per hour. There'll be a little thing come up on the dashboard, as you can see there now. There'll be a little thing come up saying to shift up. It's just like, fuck off. I'll shift when I want to shift. That's just another thing that annoys me, because it's flashing on the dashboard. It's just like... Yet again, not something that's really noticeable, but it's there. So, yeah. Anyway, on to number four. Number four is, and now this is a bit petty. Well, it it, it can be and it can't be. Compartments. There, there's obviously a door side pocket, which you get in any car. There's glove box. And then, but there's, there's this. But say you've got a drink there. Two things with these two cup holders. Don't get me wrong, they're handy for little cans. But when you've got little cans in there, you can't fit all your crap back here. You like, it's just awkward. And then if you say you've got two McDonald's drinks, you aren't going into gear three without keep smacking them drinks. Then you end up with fucking banana milkshake all over your car and it's fucked. But yeah, and there's that. But like, say I want to leave like a five five pound note or like my phone in the car for example or something something a little bit more valuable there's no like compartments where you can close them do you know what i mean for example in mercedes you've got a little armrest here that you can open and close and fucking um open and shut but on this there's no like not even here there's nowhere to to, to put anything that's just one more thing the fifth and final thing i hate about my car and this is being really picky, is why is my bonnet catch, lever, pulley thing, whatever you want to call it, why is it on the passenger side? There might be a valid reason, but that's just one thing that pisses me off. Because if I ever need to look in my engine, I've got to get out my door, walk all the way around the car, open that door, and it's a two door number, so I've got to like open the door, then walk around the door as well. I know. To just open the, the the bonnet it's just a bit stupid it should have been down there so yeah so that was five things i hate about my car don't if you, if you are looking at a corsa and you're watching my videos um 
don't let these things put you off getting one. They're all pretty much fixable. You can get like an armrest from Amazon or something. You can put a bit of black tape over the shift up. There's plenty of cup holders. Don't let these little things put you off buying a Corsa because I literally sat there for 20, 30 minutes thinking, right, I need to think of five things that annoy me. I literally had to sit there thinking because there isn't much. The, the shift up every now and then you notice it. Um, if you've got a really big drink in the cup holders, that's when you notice it. But apart from that, it's perfectly fine. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.